Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So you seem to be favoring my ChatGPT versus or ChatGPT better than video series. And the whole intention of that series is to provide you free or almost free options to have substitutes for very expensive tools like Ahrefs, like Link Whisper and like Surfer SEO. You heard it right. So today I will prove it beyond the reasonable doubts that ChatGPT and GPT-4 can be better than Surfer SEO, at least when it comes to value for money. So what I'm about to do can be reproduced in uh, within ChatGPT, but ChatGPT-4 keeps crashing on me, so I thought it would be better to use the play playground for that. But the general principle remains. So when it comes to Surfer SEO, there are two major components to SEO optimization. First is to write a perfect outline, which is based on what is currently ranking. And second, finding those keywords, LSI or TDI keywords or whatever you want to call them and optimizing the output. So we'll try to do both. I have chosen my favorite keywords of late, which is Candocs it Longen. Based on the domain rating, I have chosen five URLs that are low domain rating. This means that uh, they should be ranking based on their content mostly. And step number one, I'll just be pasting all these articles in here and I will name them article one. So this is article number two. Paste it here, article number three which is this one here and article number four. And the beauty of GPT-4 is that it can work with such a huge amount of data compared to its predecessor. So we have our articles one to four ready. And this is our background information. Now we go to the assistant mode and we'll write as follows based on the provided for articles, write a comprehensive outline. And this is a lazy prompt. I'm sure we could have said something along the lines of see what is missing, use the strong points, blah, blah. But I just want to show you the principle. So based on the provided for articles, write a comprehensive outline for the article about can dogs eat longin. We we'll press submit and GPT-4 is writing our outline, which is fairly descriptive. And hopefully it's taken into account all the four articles provided. And I like playgrounds uh, for two reasons. So first, it's stable. Second, it is just, I like the interface. So you have your background information here and you can play around with different commands here. And this doesn't overlap. Okay. Continue. Oh. It's decided to add frequently asked questions. Okay. Now we'll have our second prompt ready, which is based on the four provided articles. Extract a extract a comprehensive list of LSI keywords. And be mindful of this maximum length here, because if I were to move it all the way to the right, I would have gotten a, an error, because now GPT-4 is summing up everything here with everything here as well. So now we have our outline and we have the LSI keywords. Now we will need to get rid of the background information. It has served its purpose. 
And now the prompt is going to be write a 2000 words article based on the above outline and use all the LSI and all of the LSI keywords above. Okay, looks like GPT-4 has finished. And now let's go to Surfer SEO and see what the default SEO score is. Okay, and I should have thought of formatting beforehand, but let's do some formatting to see the true score. Since words are important, but headings are even more important. So this is our H1. <laughs> and we are already at 60. So we haven't done any optimization. And for, if you are asking me, why did I use Surf SEO? If I think that you shouldn't be using Surf SEO, this, just, this is just to show you that you don't need it if you follow the workflow. So regardless of Surfer SEO, I would have got a very high SEO score, but I'm just using it to prove it to you. So these are our headings. I wonder if we can go above 70. And yeah, we are around 70. And I probably could have used more H3s here. That shouldn't be a problem for this exercise here. So guys, without any optimization, I was able to achieve a 71 score right off the gate, which I believe is sufficient because we do not want to over optimize our articles. So GPT-4 has generated a 1200 word article, which scored extremely high when it comes to SEO. So <laughs> again, uh, this is gonna be a little bit tricky to reproduce uh, within ChatGPT, but it is doable. I have done it in the past, but unfortunately GPT-4 keeps crashing on me. So I, I wasn't able to record it all in one take. And yeah, hopefully this was helpful. All of these prompts are going to be in my ChatGPT prompts library. You're welcome to comment, like, and share this video, and I'll see you next time.